Hello and welcome, Chef Pennington here. Today we're doing the most amazing cornbread stuffing. I promise you this stuff is so good and it's so worth your try. This time of year, everyone's looking for new recipes and you're looking for something to do a little bit different. Everyone's promising the same thing, it's the best. Well, guess what, this is the best, I promise. So we took half of an onion there, I used a Vidalia, chopped it up, we want a pretty good, about a medium chop there. And here's where we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna use a food processor, we're gonna puree some of our ingredients. This is gonna create bigger flavor and it's gonna allow our ingredients to go further. We're actually gonna use less ingredients and we're gonna get more flavor. How cool is that? Holiday time, so we're putting a little sage in there. If you don't like sage, no problem, but it's definitely a very classic ingredient inside of a stuffing. So we're pureeing these guys up together. Then we're gonna get them in over in a bowl. Take your time, you wanna get it pretty smooth. It doesn't have to be completely pureed. I do like texture for sure. And you can't have stuffing without some celery now if you don't like celery that's not a big deal just don't add it but when i'm eating stuffing i'm kind of looking for a little celery there i don't need celery in a lot of other foods <clears throat> so we're taking a red pepper there a little sweetness nothing wrong with that and here we go this is the secret ingredient we're using some triso triso is a spanish pork sausage that has a bit of paprika running through it and garlic and other good stuff so it's a really big flavor bomb in all the good ways we could ever want if you've never tried this before with the stuffing I promise you it's really good gotta have some salt salt brings flavor to the table so we're getting a little sea salt in there I like sea salt use what you like we're gonna put a little sugar in there sugar is gonna balance everything out because our chorizo has the paprika and we're gonna put a little bit of Creole seasoning coming up we got pepper so a little bit of sugar there really balances each other out you can use Creole seasoning or a little bit of cayenne, whatever you like, or nothing. Here's a cool way to clean some thyme. Just use your fingers and brush it off. The same works for rosemary. No point in trying to pick all the little thyme flowers off. Quick little mix there. And moving on. So we're gonna get our base for our cornbread batter. Could be simpler, using a store-bought package. If you guys are in the baking aisle of your grocery store aisles, they always have a couple of different ones they are very cheap, they're under a dollar, but they have all the ingredients for you and they've spent a lot of money um, making those powders and everything come together just right. So I'm a fan of them, in a pinch it's easy. Half a cup of milk in there, and there we go, there's our cornbread stuffing. I particularly like this brand, it's pretty good, it's, um, what is it, Hill Country Fair I believe is the brand, I'm mixing these guys up. The use of the cornbread is really cool, it's not something really traditional in a stuffing but the extra texture it's going to bring is we're going to go between dressing, muffing, bread, all that kind of stuff. It's just going to be like better. <laughs> That's the best word I can come up with. I use some onion rolls just because it brings more flavor. Use what you guys like. Um, a lot of grocery stores have those nowadays. I'd say opt for it because it's a holiday as we like to do stuff the best we can. So let's use some really cool bread. So that was three of them sliced up in there. Our buddy chicken stock. Got to get a little extra moisture in there. So this is really like a combination of a cornbread and a stuffing come together with flavor added to it, which is what makes it better than the normal. It's it's better. <laughs> so there we go. Got our goodies in there. So here's one of the tips I've got for you. Don't over pack your casserole dish. If you try to take it all the way to the top, it just means it's gonna cook for like 20 hours. And what's the point? It's gonna be extra mushy on the inside. It's just not the way to go. So notice here, I'm not gonna make it real thick. It's gonna allow for more crispy edges and all that good stuff that we really want we like texture we love flavor but at this time don't overstuff it if you guys want to put it inside of your your chicken go ahead just realize that by stuffing a chicken or a turkey it takes a lot longer to cook because you've got to get that stuffing cooked all the way through and that's like a cold spot inside of your bird so just keep that in mind i really don't suggest you stuff your your chickens and your birds it's just not the way to go but if that's your way i roll go for it so for fun Two different things. We're gonna have it in a regular casserole dish and then also little muffins, which is just nice individual. If you're doing a buffet or something like that, it works really well. There you go, 425, 30, 45 minutes. And you guys have got the best stuffing you guys are ever gonna try in your life. I promise we've got a printable recipe card on the website. Join us on social media. You guys have the very best holidays. Thanks for watching.